What's going on ladies and gentlemen, check it out, we're back at it again. I wanna show you guys this cool bass line that I did in the Newport Jazz Festival. Uh, it's actually pretty simple and some of it requires some of the things that I've taught you guys before in the past dealing with arpeggio. So I wanna show you really quick and I'll break it down afterwards. So here's the video. So as you guys can see, that was a simple bass line, really just from the F to the G, we're in the key of E flat, E flat major, and then we're going back and forth from the two to the three. So the second scale degree to the third scale degree. So F minor, which is the two, and then G minor, which is the three. I always say as a basis, if you're trying to figure out a bass line or create a bass line, start with that. That's a great foundation, great starting point for building a bass line is just starting with the arpeggio. So let's break this down to its purest form. Uh, I'm gonna start with the F, F minor arpeggio. So we have F, A flat, C, E flat. Now we're gonna add the nine to that. So F minor seven arpeggio, which we already know, F minor seven, F, A flat, C, E flat. We know that. Okay, then now we're gonna add the nine, which is the G, and that completes the arpeggio. So do, 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 do. Then walking back down, we're actually walking back down the with the triad. So we have the root note, fifth note of F minor triad or F minor arpeggio, third, minor third, and then the root. Okay, so very simple. Boom, boom, and then immediately to the G. So what I want to mention is before we go any further, where are these arpeggios coming from? They come from somewhere. It's not just the natural minor scale, which we're kind of used to just playing uh, a minor arpeggio or minor seven, automatically think Aeolian or natural minor scale, which we also know that we can have different minor scales with that. Okay, different minor scales with it. It's not just natural minor, it can be Aeolian, it can be uh, Dorian, because that's a type of minor scale. Uh, Phrygian, that's a type of minor scale. Locrian, that's a type of minor scale. So we have to be conscious about what we're using. And before I mentioned that we're playing the two and the three, the second scale degree and the third scale degree. So if we know that we match that up, we have second scale degree, which is Dorian, all right, if we're talking modes, and then third scale degree, which is going to be Phrygian. So these scales will work right on top of these bass lines or right on top of these chord progressions. So we have do 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 do. We have F. So that's the scale that corresponds with that arpeggio or that bass line or that chord. And then next we have the Phrygian, which is going to start on G. Do do. So it's going back and forth. Back and forth from the two to the three. Just wanted to throw that in there for you guys to understand exactly where these arpeggios and notes are coming from. Okay, so the next arpeggio starting on G. I do this one a little bit different. I don't play the nine on that arpeggio. Um, only because it's like a, it's a weird, it's a, almost a flat nine, if you think about it. Uh, it would be a flat nine, it doesn't really sound that great. Yeah, it's just, it's weird. It just, it just sounds weird on top of that bass line. So let me play it for you just to, so you can see what I'm talking about. So, original grooves, uh, one, two, three, four. I'm, I'm gonna change it to the nine. It just, nah, it's just it's just a weird note to 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 make, especially with what's going on with what's going on inside of the inside of the music or the, the chord. I think I, I end up changing that bass line or just kind of altering it so it can sound a little bit more decent. So now what I'm playing, I'm, I'm playing the B flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm actually playing the minor third instead of, or the, the 10 or the, the three. 
Is that in tune? It is not. Anyway, uh, so the minor third, I'm playing that or the octave of the minor third with this bass line. So same exact rhythms, and I'll have this written out and everything so you guys can follow along. All together, boom, 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 boom. Walk down, try it. All right, now G, doom, do, 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 minor third. Octave five three one, and that's the whole entire bass line. And I pretty much stayed there for the entire thing. It really doesn't take much for you know something or a piece to feel good. So I stayed there the whole time, just held the bass down. Um, nothing too fancy, nothing too out of the box. Just making sure I'm, I'm staying with fundamentals, making it feel good. So if you guys want to try that out and and actually create bass lines just like that, I actually recommend that you guys do that, especially as a start. To creating some bass lines uh, and, and it open up a bunch of doors for you if you guys saw in the um, previous lessons we talked about you know playing those or creating bass lines or trying to find things to play inside of the songs that you already play and you can use this element as far as finding arpeggios or finding these notes finding these scales to you know venture out or just try to you know be a little bit more creative with um, your bass lines even rhythmically dealing with the same notes but changing the bass line rhythmically so i can do the same thing i can change the rhythm because originally it was boom boom doom, 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 doom. i just did da, do, do, da, 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 da. same notes different rhythm see what i mean it, it made the bass line feel that much different and I, and I could have done that, actually, but I wanted to just kind of stick with one common <laughs> common rhythm, common bass line progression so it wouldn't be so distracting uh, to the listener. But anyway, hopefully you got something out of this and make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear and precise. I would love to hear you guys take on it. Also, if you have any questions and or comments, you guys know what to do in the comment sections below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.